General Maverick reporting for the RSSF from the Mass Effect universe in the Milky Way. So, apparently the last episode uh, the game started to be a little bit uh, laggy because uh, my Xbox controller, I'm playing on PC with an Xbox controller, uh, the controller was low on battery, so it was making it go very laggy. Okay, let's see what we have here. Nothing. Let's go here. Patrol report. Alliance patrol report. Captain Hendrickson reported some unusual energy readings during a patrol of the Argos Row cluster. She had particu particular concerns about the Hydra system but was recalled before her team could investigate further. No patrols are scheduled for that sector. Do we want to send in a recon team? Right. Okay. Okay, I went to my journal. This is the same. Uh, this is the citadel, right? This is the same as in. I understand. Oh, look what at this guy. Saying, but these allegations are very serious. Like, this is serious. My reputation is at stake. I spoke with the consort in <laughs> and her alone. What? She betrayed that confidence. All right. I will look into it for you. In the meantime, do not do anything rash. <laughs> Hello there, human. Sincere apology, but I am here on business and cannot be distracted right now. You seem distressed. Is there something I can do to help? Alarmed response. You overheard that, did you? This is all going so wrong. And it is the Asari consort's fault. She's the one who started all this. What did this Asari do to get you so upset? I cannot speak more about this problem. It is too sensitive. Suffice it to say, she has compromised my authority as a diplomat. <laughs> Where can I find the Sasari consort? She is across the bridge from here. Her offices are easy enough to spot. These Good guys are so know. funny. They look so funny. Oh my god, look at this guy. What? Earth Clan, you are in the wrong place, I think. Your ambassador is next door in the large office. Chastising remark. Don't be so rude, Dan. At least introduce yourself. <laughs> I am Din Korlak, Volus Ambassador. Is there something I can do for you, Earth Clan? <laughs> Are you serious? What is this place? You are in the embassy for the Volus and the Elcor. Your ambassador is next door, in his own office. <laughs> in this shared speak. space, I aid my fellow Volus when I'm not being interrupted. I'd like to know more about the Volus. I'm sure our history and culture would bore you, Earth Clan. Actually, I would like to know more about your history. My people came to the Citadel shortly after the Asari and Salarians had discovered it. We were instrumental in establishing a standardized galactic economy. However, Despite our long association with the Citadel, and our many contributions to galactic society, we still do not hold a seat on the Council. 
Ah. Tell me about Volus culture. We are tribal by nature, but our ways are not violent. We barter and trade our lands and tribe members in order to increase status. Larger tribes often engulf smaller ones and eventually split again. Our society is very malleable, and our government is always shifting and changing. <laughs> Since we're not physically adept, we trade Dude, our where services is your neck? for protection. Why you don't have a neck? What is it you do here? I look out for the best interests of the Volus people. No easy task considering how often we are overlooked by the council. Chastising rebuke, Dan. The council favors your species greatly. <laughs> Why they don't you have a neck? Naive. The Earth Clan will be invited to the council long before our species will. Why aren't the Elcor or Volus part of the council? All species must prove themselves before they join the council. All but the Earth Clans, it would seem. Dismissive. Ignore the Volus ambassador, human. <laughs> he is incorrect in his assessment. <laughs> really? How long have we been waiting? How long do you think we'll continue to wait? Bah, this talk is wasted on the humans. <laughs> Goodbye, Ambassador. Yes, yes. Good day, Earth Clan. Who the f what are you? What? You're so cool. Look at him. One, two, three, four arms. And four keyboards. What are you looking at? There's no display. That's so cool. I can't tell the aliens from the animals. Yeah, tell me about it. <clears throat> Although that's a little bit uh, not racist, uh, xenophobe, xenophobic. I came from here. Suppose I gotta go here? I I'm just playing very chilled, I mean... Uh... Good day, Commander. The human ambassador is up the stairs, first room on the right. What is this place? This is the Presidium. More specifically, you are at the Citadel Embassies. If you have more questions, please access Avena. What is Avena? What's that? Oh, Avena is the virtual guide for the Citadel. Feel free to access the terminal yourself. Uh. What's your name? What do you do here? My name is Sephiria. I'm the administrative assistant for the Embassies. You seem to be distracted. The embassies are the hub of all Citadel politics. <laughs> when you represent trillions of citizens, it tends to get a little busy. All right. Okay. I should be going now. Have a pleasant day. Welcome to the Presidium. Allow me to be your guide. Oh, this must be Avina. Greetings and welcome to the Presidium. My name is Avina, and I am pleased to be your virtual guide throughout this level of the Citadel Space Station. Uh, it's a virtual guide. It's ov ov obviously, it's not real. What does that mean? I am a fully interactive virtual intelligence, programmed to provide spontaneous guidance at predetermined locations of interest throughout this level of the Citadel. I may also be contacted through any of the Presidium VI terminals, should you require assistance. Give me the tour. You are standing at Presidium Tourism Terminal 1. On either side of this lobby are the embassies of the various Citadel races, along with CSEC headquarters. 
On the far end of this level, you can see the Citadel Tower, where the Council meets regularly to discuss matters of interstellar importance. Oh. What can you tell me about the Citadel Council? Originally, the Council consisted of representatives from the Asari and Salarians, the two dominant species in Citadel space. Roughly 1,304 galactic standard years ago, Turians were invited to join the Council in recognition of the role they played during the Krogan Rebellion. Since then, the three Council races have worked together to ensure the peaceful coexistence of the galactic community, while preserving individual autonomy for each species. Right. Uh, nah. Goodbye. Thank you. Goodbye, and thank you for using Avena. Please enjoy your visit to the Citadel. So... This way? This is a rapid transit. Oh! Transit to quickly between... Yeah, this is like the... We, we had a similar thing in Andromeda. Please choose the Citadel destination. I guess... Citadel Tower? Uh, right, in Andromeda was way cooler. You would actually travel inside the, the transport train. <coughs> it was like a metro. Who Saren's hiding something. Give me more time. Stall them. Stall the council. Don't be ridiculous. Your investigation is over, Garrus. Commander Shepard, Garrus Vicarian. I was the officer in charge of the C-Sec investigation into Saren. Uh, can I just one second? Okay. Uh, Commander Shepard, uh, officer in charge of C-Sec. Saren. Who, Who were you just talking to? That was Executor Palin, head of Citadel Security, my boss. He'll be presenting my findings on Saren to the Council. Come across anything I should know about? Saren's a specter. Most of his activities are classified. I couldn't find anything solid. But I know he's up to something. Like you humans say, I feel it in my gut. I think the Council's ready for us, Commander. Good luck, Shepard. Maybe they'll listen to you. Thanks. I need to run? Are you? Yeah, I can run. I know. I'm gonna get tired. Uh, which way? Straight? Oh, there is a map. Wait. There is a map. Okay, yeah, I just go straight up. All right. And since I'm here, maybe I can check OBS for a second. Excuse me. What's happening? Okay, I hope everything is recording fine. And just checking this perfect. Awesome. Okay, let's go. Those guys look so cool. Dude, I want to be your friend. Damn it. The hearing's already started. Come on. All right, all right. I'm on it. I'm coming. The Geth attack is a matter of some concern, but there is nothing to indicate Saren was involved in any way. The investigation by Citadel Security turned up no evidence to support your charge of treason. An eyewitness saw him kill Nihilus in cold blood. Yeah, what the hell? The Eden Prime reports, Ambassador. The testimony of one traumatized dock worker is hardly compelling proof. I resent me? these accusations. Nihilus was a fellow Spectre and a friend. That just let you catch him off guard. Captain Anderson, 
You always seem to be involved when humanity makes false charges against me. And this must be your protege, Commander Shepard. The one who let the beacon get destroyed. Uh... You're the one who destroyed the beacon, then you tried to cover it up. Shift the blame to cover your own failures. Just like Captain Anderson. He's taught you well. But what can you expect from a human? Hmm. Saren despises humanity. That's why he attacked Eden Prime. Your species needs to learn its place, Shepard. You're not ready to join the Council. You're not even ready to join the Spectres. He has no right to say that. That's not his decision. Shepard's admission into the Spectres is not the purpose of this meeting. This meeting has no purpose. The humans are wasting your time, Counselor. And mine. I want to say, you arrogant bastard, but it's not my style. Yeah, I wouldn't say that in front of the council. <coughs> but this is a game and I'm really tempted to say that. Nah, not my style. Okay. Uh, no, I'll find you. You can't hide behind the council forever. There is still one outstanding issue Commander Shepard's vision. It may have been triggered by the beacon. Are we allowing dreams into evidence now? How can I defend my innocence against this kind of testimony? I agree. Our judgment must be based on facts and evidence, not wild imaginings and reckless speculation. Do you have anything else to add, Commander Shepard? You've made your decision. I won't waste my breath. <laughs> That's not what I chose. The Council has found no evidence of any connection between oh Saren and the Geth. Ambassador, your petition to have him disbarred from the Spectres is denied. I'm glad to see justice was served. This meeting is adjourned. So what, Nihilus was killed uh, by Thunder? It was a mistake bringing you into that hearing, Captain. You and Saren have too much history. It made the Council question our motives. I know Saren. He's working with the Geth for one reason. To exterminate the entire human race. Every colony we have is at risk. Every world we control is in danger. Even Earth isn't safe. What? Tell me about this history between you and Saren. I worked with him on a mission a long time ago. Things went bad. Real bad. We shouldn't talk about this here. But I know what he's like. And he has to be stopped. Uh, I want to choose Ball. Uh, What's our next step? As a Spectre, he's virtually untouchable. We need to find some way to expose him. What about Garrus, that CSEC investigator? We saw him arguing with the executor. That's right. He was asking for more time to finish his report. Seems like he was close to finding something on Saren. Any idea where we could find him? I have a contact in CSEC <laughs> who can help us track Garrus down. His name is Harkin. Forget it. They suspended Harkin last month, drinking on the job. <laughs> I won't waste my time with that loser. You won't have to. I don't want the Council using your past history with Saren as an excuse to ignore anything we turn up. Shepard will handle this. Well said. I like Ambassador Rudina. Uh, Shepard, the uh, Captain deserves better. Yeah, the Captain deserves better, but I'm on it. Uh... You can't just cut Captain Anderson out of this investigation. The Ambassador's right. I need to step aside. I need to take care of some business. Captain, meet me in my office later. Yeah, they don't want to be disrespectful. Harkin's probably my getting drunk at Cora's Den. It's a dingy little club in the lower section of the. Oh, come on. Uh, 
come on the, the xbox controller disconnected why okay now it's connected again that's why it goes uh, laggy sometimes <coughs> Uh, Harkin's probably getting drunk at uh, it's a dingy, 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 little club in the lower section of the ward. Uh, Maybe there's another way to find evidence against Saren. You should talk to Barla Vaughn over in the financial district. Rumor has it he's an agent for the Shadow Broker. The Shadow Broker? An information dealer. Buys and sells secrets to the highest bidder. I've heard Barla Vaughn's one of the top representatives. He might know something about Saren. But his information so, won't come cheap. So many characters, I'm starting to get lost. <coughs> but his information won't come cheap. Uh, you and Saren have a history. What happened? Yeah, you didn't. About tell me. 20 years ago, I was part of a mission in the Skillian Verge. I was working with Saren to find and remove a known terrorist threat. Saren eliminated his target, but a lot of people died along the way innocent people and the official records just covered it all up but I saw how he operates no conscience no hesitation he'd kill a thousand innocent civilians to end a war without a second thought hmm. yeah. killing innocents doesn't end wars it causes them I know how the world works Commander. Sometimes you're forced to make unpleasant decisions, but only if there's no other way. Saren doesn't even look for another option. He's twisted, broken. He likes the violence, the killing. And he knows how to cover his tracks. Right. Uh, oh, God. <clears throat> no, I think I'm good about that. I don't want to know new characters harking. Barla Vaughn Shadow Broker Broker. Isn't Barla Vaughn the Shadow Broker? I thought he was. Anyway. I should go. Good luck, Shepard. I'll be over in the ambassador's <laughs> office if you need anything else. Alright. Where do we go now? I gotta clean that uh, map marker. Uh Clear. Now, where do I have to go? Guess I gotta take the transport. Straight this way. I'll just turn around and go that way, right? Orban. Who's Torban? That guy's up to something. What guy? The one over by the keeper. Please choose. Uh, I think I gotta go to the wards. Yeah, let's try. See to the wards location. Chorus Den. <clears throat> Gentleman's club in the really uh. Hello there, welcome to Moreland's famous shop. You want many good supplies, yes? Uh Let me see what you have. Oh, you will be pleased, I think. Very good things I have. You will see. Uh, so I have one thousand four hundred. Or is that the cost of no the cost is all right. No, Compare. 
that. Onyx, Phoenix, and Onyx. This is Survivor 2, it has 772 and 6. Eighteen ninety one fourteen. That would be a good purchase. Cost seven thousand. Yeah, I don't think I have it. Uh, let's go to the gentleman's club. I guess. <coughs> That's her. Wait, what? What's happening? What? I didn't expect that. There was never any shooting in Andromeda Citadel. Not that I remember. How do I put my gun inside my pocket? wearing for you Patrick I need to talk to Harkin. Harkin back off Rex this told us to take you down if you showed up what are you waiting for I'm standing right here Not like this is points. Fist's only chance if he's smart he'll take it he's not coming out Rex end of story this story is just beginning out of my way humans i have no one here with you what was that all about who knows let's just try not to get caught in the middle <laughs> uh, yep um who's that Harkin? did i have to talk to Harkin? hey there sweetheart you looking for some fun I gotta say, that soldier get up looks real good on that body of yours. Seriously? Why don't you sit your sweet little ass down beside old Harkin? What? Have a drink. Let's see where this goes. I'd rather drink a cup of acid after chewing on the razor blade. <laughs> you trying to hurt my feelings? You gotta do better than that. After 20 years with c -Sec, I've been called every name in the book, princess. Call me right. princess again and you'll be picking your teeth up off the floor. Now tell me where Garrus is. Okay, okay, just relax. Garrus, you say? <laughs> you must be one of Anderson's crew. Poor bastard still trying to bring Saren down, huh? I know where Garrus is, but you gotta tell me something first. Did the captain let you in on his big secret? Is there something I should know about the captain? The captain used to be a specter. Didn't know that, did you? It was all very hush hush. The first human ever given that honor, and then he blew it. Screwed up his mission so bad they kicked him out. Of course, he blames Saren. Says the Turians set him up. You said they covered all this up. How'd you hear about it? I spent 20 years working cases here on the Citadel. People on this station love to talk. Secrets are like herpes. If you got them, you might as well spread them around. Ew. <laughs> You're a pig. Just noticed that now, did you? Just okay, tell me go. where Garrus went. Garrus was sniffing around Dr. Michelle's office. She runs the med clinic on the other side of the wards. Must of heard course. Back there. I'm out of here. 
Yeah, go, go. Let me drink it, please. So, what's up here? The back rooms are private, reserved for Fist and his friends. Who's Fist? He owns this club, but the customers have to stay out front. What did that other Krogan want? Rex. Personal matter. Not real chatty, is he? <laughs> Goodbye. No kidding. Enjoy the club. Oh, there's people dancing up there. Or whatever that is. That's what they're doing. It's supposed to be dancing, I guess. Okay, what? <laughs> uh, sure. What is happening? What? Okay. Thank you very much. I'm quite turned on right now. <coughs> bye bye. It's not true. Harkin's an ass. But he's just messing with our heads. There's a green dot. Who's the green dot? What's happening? Huh? What is the green dot? There is a small delay when you click to open the door and when the door starts doing something and uh, it becomes a little bit confusing. Hey! I want to make friends with one of these guys. Does it take so long? Directions. These are uh, servers. You know, there you'll find embassies. Uh, power for you the bank. All right. Yes. That's where we're going. In light of the recent attack on Eden Prime, many colonial investors are pulling their support for future projects. Proponents of expanded human colonization insist that Eden Prime was an isolated case. Nevertheless, colonist enrollment has dropped sharply. Many colonial proposals are on hold until backers have some reassurance that human colonies will be adequately protected. All right. Uh, such good, cool clothes everybody's wearing. Yeah, I like these guys. He said that already. <coughs> Yeah. Do you really think we'll find him down here? He always stops in for a few games of Quasar before he makes his drop. Fist is going to be pissed if we take down his supplier. That's the point. We want him angry. Angry people make mistakes. I guess this citadel is the same. This elevator leads up uh, there you'll find... Uh, no, 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 no. Alright. I thought a Solarian excavation team has run into an unexpected problem after unearthing a Prothean dig site. Hanar protesters have blockaded the dig site, claiming that artifacts of the Enkindlers, as the Hanar call them, should not be disturbed. The excavation team has appealed to Hanar representatives on the Citadel to reach a diplomatic solution. 
<laughs> there is music in the elevator. <laughs> elevator music. I like the news. Uh, between this episode and next episode, I'm gonna check my controller. I don't know why it's doing what it's doing. What are you? What? Do you desire to learn of the Enkindlers? Or has the Honorable CSEC officer enlisted assistance? What? Who are you? Why is the CSEC officer harassing you? The CSEC officer requests that this one purchase an evangelical permit to spread the truth of the Enkindlers. What? Who are the Enkindlers? Your people know them as the Protheans. They are the true creators of this one's people. The Enkindlers raised the Hanar from ignorance into consciousness by granting this one's people the gift of speech. What? So you're breaking the law by preaching without a permit right now? The CSEC officer states that preaching in this place is forbidden and preaching anywhere on the citadel requires a permit. This one humbly submits that it is not preaching to state the truth of the Enkindlers, and thus no permit should be necessary. Huh. <sighs> Let me talk to the CSEC officer. Perhaps I can explain the situation. This one would be most grateful for the assistance. Please let You're this the one know if success is achieved. That Hanar refuses to listen to reason. Why can't it act in an orderly and lawful manner? Uh... Are there laws being broken here? I am not unreasonable. The Hanar is free to spew its nonsense once it purchases an evangelical permit. <clears throat> uh. So if the Hanar gets a permit, it's allowed to preach? No. Registered evangelicals must follow regulations. There are specific areas where preaching is legal. Failure to follow the regulations results in the forfeiture of the license. All right. Uh, uh, if you'd like, I could talk to the Hanar for you. I have argued with the stubborn jelly all afternoon. You are certainly welcome. <laughs> Has the CSEC officer been assuaged? Uh, uh, I'll keep working on it. This one will continue to spread its message. Wait, what? No, wait. Has the CSEC officer been assuaged? Uh, the CSEC officer is just doing his job. You're causing trouble. No, I didn't this be one is too so humble hard. to suggest that the CSEC officer is personally biased. Well, you this said. one only wishes to spread the truth to any who will listen. There is no intent to cause trouble. By the what permit. if I purchase the evangelical permit for you? Finances are only a partial limitation. This one does not believe that one should pay in order to speak the truth. However, this one also does not possess the 150 credits ah, necessary to purchase the permit. Ah, there you go. Okay. 150 credits. Okay. Uh, this should cover your expenses. Uh, this, should cover you. this is a most appreciated action. You are not of the Hanar, but you wish to help spread the truth of the Enkindlers. Not really. This one will not cause any further trouble for the CSEC officer. This one offers its thanks. You're welcome. And I lost 150. I see the Hanar is left. Thank you.
Uh... Happy to help. Here, for your assistance in this matter. Now, if you'll excuse me, I should report to my superiors. Hey. That was cool. Um. Ah, the Citadel. So cool. Uh, I'm gonna cut this episode right now. Because it's getting too long. Save it. Uh, sure. All right. Thank you very much for watching General Maverick out.